I'm going to show you how to install Stable Diffusion on your Windows PC. I'll put all the links in the description, but before we start, Stable Diffusion is an open source AI image generator. And to run Stable Diffusion, you will need a Windows PC with NVIDIA GPU card. I have about 24 meg VRAM, but I believe the minimum you will need is four meg VRAM. So to begin with, let's go. Go to github.com slash automatic 1111, go to Stable Diffusion Web UI, scroll down till we get to the installation on Windows. First, we're going to install Python. I've already got Python installed on my machine. Uh, so come down to Windows Installer, click on that, open up the executable, so I'm going to in uninstall my version so I can show you from scratch. So once you have your fresh install, you want to click add Python to path and install. So we come back now. Next, we want to install Git. So come through, click on the Windows Setup 64-bit. Let that download. Once again, click to open that. And this window here, we just want to go through uh, all the setup steps and just leave everything at default. So I'm going to install in the default place and leave all the options on default and just click next until we reach install. So finish that. I will come back, close the tab, come back to um, the next where we will actually download Stable Diffusion itself. So go down to the search bar, press CMD for the command prompt, bring that up. Now what we're going to do is just copy and paste the, uh, the code that's in step three. So copy that, paste that in there, press enter. And now that is downloading all done. So next step four, we want to download the, uh, the models. Click on dependencies. You will open up the, uh, the page, go to official download. And that brings us to the Hugging Face uh, website. You will need to have a account with them. Go ahead, if you don't already have account, click sign up and go through the steps to sign up. Once you've signed up, you can go back to that same page and then under download weights, we want to download the first link there where it says sdv one for ckpt So that's gonna download, it's gonna take a while. It's uh, about a four gig file. So, you know, might wanna come back in 10 minutes when that's downloaded. Once that has downloaded, find your way to the Stable Diffusion folder in your users uh, folder. You'll find it Stable Diffusion Web UI. So double click that to open that up. Make your way to Models, Stable Diffusion, and this is the area where we want to drop um, the model that we just downloaded. So it will probably be in your Downloads folder. I'm just dragging that across and then rename that to model. Navigate back up and that's pretty much it. The, uh, what we want to open is the web UI dash user file and that will open up the uh, command prompt and once again will take quite a while installing, installing all the uh, components it needs to run. So that might take up to five to 15 minutes uh, to run all those things. Once that is fully completed, you will see a URL. It says running on local URL. You just want to leave the prompt, uh, leave the command prompt running, copy that URL link, come over to a browser and paste that in. And that is it, you are done. 
you see all these tabs are here all working and if you just want to run a test prompt you can just write anything like a rock that looks like Dwayne Johnson and we can see it gives us something cool thanks guys uh, if you'd like me to do a walkthrough on how to use uh, stable diffusion itself let me know in the comments or with a like on the video thanks guys I hope that helped see you later